Okay, YouTube, another long day in the shop. How about a shot? All right, before I get into that, let me let you guys know I've been dying to do this review for you. I got the cordless Lilux hair dryer, so I'm going to review that, and I'm also going to compare it to the classic industry standard, the Turbo 1500. Also, I'm going to review the wind speed, the temperature, and the loudness of each hair dryer. And this is from a barber's perspective. I'm sure the ladies at the salons will find this useful too, and I'll do my best to help you guys out as well. So, cheers. Okay, let me put my instruments to the side, as well as the classic Turbo 1500. And we'll get into this beauty, the Lilux. I've been using this for a couple days. Absolutely love it. Got it on Amazon, on sale, $160 after tax. Can't beat it. One thing I'll say about this is it's a little top heavy. So let me say that. If a customer goes to use it, definitely warn them or not let them use it at all. Comes with the charging base hairdryer itself, and the magnetic nozzle. It also has the filter here. This is where the air intake is. And the difference is the air intake on the old hair dryers like Turbo 1500s is in the back. So if anyone ever got the hair caught up in the back in the salons or something, the air intake is away from it. So that won't happen. One thing I'll also say is this design is similar to the corded Dyson, which is like, I don't know, $400, $500. And I've seen a lot of people crack this when taking the filter off. And you do have to clean this filter. And I'm going to show you why. If it gets filled up, you're going to notice it doesn't have as much power and it's getting choked. So watch. So it's going to be weak. So the way you do it is you turn the dot to the circle. And then you pull down and try not to squeeze too hard when you do that. And then this comes out as well. And this is where the air comes in and it's filtering all the debris from going inside the machine. And you line the dot up with the circle, turn to the right, and don't squeeze too hard because you will crack this. As you see, it has three fan speeds, low, medium, and high. And on the left side, you'll see power, cold, and hot. In the bottom, Underneath here, you see the charging contacts, and in the base, there's four charging contacts down there, which I was happy to see, and I don't have any issues with the charging. I drop it in, it charges right away. The charging indicator lights are in the back. I'm not going to get into runtime. Runtime varies on every product, and it varies more on this when it comes to heat and speed, so... You'll have to troubleshoot that yourself. But if you're a barber and you have everything cordless except the hair dryer, you need this, man. You need this because we don't use the hair dryer for long. You're using it to blow hair off the customers, using it to blow hair off their sneakers, or you're blowing out a flat top or blowing out a brush back and then freehanding the buzzer around to knock down all the standing hairs. And that doesn't take that long. You only use it for a couple minutes, uh, if that. So from a barber's perspective, Definitely get this. Definitely get this. I wouldn't be surprised if some bigger name companies uh, copy this design and use it for themselves. So now that you know everything about the Lilux, and this is a model T3 or the white one right now because I don't see any other ones. So let's get into this wind test. So we're going to see how powerful. A cordless, battery-powered hair dryer can be in terms of velocity. So we're going to turn this on. We're measuring in miles per hour, and uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so you see we're hitting like 27, 28, 26. That's really good. Now I'll take this, take the nozzle off as well to be fair. So it's a circle going through a circle. Let's give it a shot. So 
So you see, surprisingly, this is only hitting like 22 miles per hour. This is faster with the batteries. Lithium ion, changing everything. Tesla's all over the road. So now we're going to do the temperature test. So I got this pocket thermometer here. We're going to start it on the high setting. And we're going to go to heat. And let's see what we got. Okay, so the lilacs on high is stopping at about 105. Now, they say when it's on low, you get more heat. So, it's a lower setting and higher heat. So, we're going to try this. This is heat with the lower setting on the lilacs. So you're getting up to 118 on low. And I'm sure that's to conserve battery. You know, they let you really get that. One of the things they advertise with this in their defense is high heat damages hair. And I'm going to show you just how high the Turbo 1500 can get. We'll put this on high heat right away. And let's go. Yeah, as you can see, huge difference, huge difference. I'll try it on low real quick. Let me turn it off. Turn it on. You see the temperature dropping rapidly. Let me try it on low. So this on low is still beating that on high. So if you need the heat, then you need something corded, something like this. The Lilux isn't going to do a few. Now, in terms of loudness, is this really loud in the salon or shop? Let's see. I'll put this on high fan speed and cool. Eighty four decibels and a smooth eighty four decibels. It actually sounds good. Try this one. So they're about equal when it comes to loudness in the shop, but the lilac sounds better. So end review. If you need the heat, you go with something else. As far as barbers are concerned, you only need a little bit of heat for a certain amount of time and also half the time that high heat you're not going to use because it's making the customer uncomfortable and it's burning them. So you don't even need it. You don't like, why do you want it? So this I highly recommend. Oh, yeah. I'm using this all day. I'm walking around the shop. I'm blowing hair from under my station. I'm, I'm using this as a duster if I'm not cutting or when I'm cleaning up. Multiple uses. This is, if this was uh, more powerful, I might even use it for landscaping. <laughs> so, in terms of the Lilux hair dryer, hell yeah. And if Dyson made this, oh my God, it would be like, seven hundred fifty eight hundred dollars they might even go a thousand on it lilacs is only asking 160 on amazon right now i'll put a link in the description like and subscribe we hit over 100 uh subscribers so shout out to you guys we'll pop a bottle of that and uh 
that's pretty much it for tonight. So highly recommend it. I would get it. I would get it. I was hesitant. I thought it was a scam when I first saw the original version on Facebook. Then I saw it on Amazon and I said, let me go. And I had good reviews and I got it. So get this. Trust me. Peace.